Good morning, my name is Tavares Williams. I'm the proud principal here at Blanche Lee High School, home of the Mighty Tigers. So the Blanche Lee High School culinary program is an experience in itself. Uh, what separates us from other culinary programs across the district is that not only are our students um, getting Safe Serve certification, uh, where they can go directly into industry making uh, thousands of dollars, uh, but our students are also um, learning the business side of the culinary <coughs> and hospitality and tourism industry. Our students actually prepare meals uh, for different organizations and companies that can actually come to Blanche Ely and uh, uh, pay for catering jobs that are coordinated and put together uh, by our students. Our students come up with original recipes, um, uh, draft their own cookbook, um, as well as uh, learn cooperative skills that are key for stepping into 21st century. So one of the uh, biggest things uh, that makes me the happiest uh, here at Blanchile High School, um, cooking brings people together. Um, and here at Blanchile High School, we are a true family and we hope that students um, from all middle schools will join us here at Blanchile where possible to join our family. Uh, with that, the culinary lab and the culinary program and our culinary students are at the heart and soul of our school family as they prepare meals for uh, events for our teachers, um, events for our students, including um, students from a diverse group of backgrounds um, that ultimately brings, brings us all together. So in a sense, this has become the gathering here at Blanche Ely where we come together and show that family and uh, community spirit um, over a good meal. Jennifer Norton. I'm the nursing instructor here at Blanche Ely High School. So this is an LPN nursing school which is um, certified. So coming here will give them a good start in nursing education. Many students that leave here, you graduate with an LPN. Once you graduate with an LPN, you can work as a nurse in almost any facilities. And that's the first level of nursing and that will still qualify you to transition to your RN license. It's an exciting program, very exciting but very rigorous. Um, you know, like any nursing school, you have to wear a uniform and you have to be on top of your assignments, making sure that you are doing um, studying, but it is a very, very rewarding um, career. My name is Michelle Pierre-Lewis. I'm in grade 12, I'm a senior. Um, I believe that people should come and attend this program because it basically gives you a head start on what you're learning in medical school. And also, it'll just like rough you up on like all the skills that you will need to learn so that you could be familiar with them beforehand. I have a couple colleges in mind, um, FAMU, FI, um, FSU, um, also some out-of-state ones like UCLA and yeah. My name is Amaya Staba. I'm, I'm a senior, I'm in 12th grade. Um, what I like most about the class is a lot of hands-on skills and towards the end like it helps you build up to the point where like when you get out you have more experience than other people might to be able to go into college and nursing school and be able to do different things. Other people should come because like I said it's a really it, like it helps you move forward faster like it provides a baseline so that you don't have to work as hard or as many years because as you know med school and stuff that takes a lot of, of your time and a lot of your free time like when you go so it'll take years off of it and it just provides you basic knowledge like if you want to do go somewhere you can be ahead of other people yeah okay um i don't know but definitely out of state like i have some on the list like boston university columbia university um, university of north carolina chapel hill mainly ones that you know have majors and minors in medicine but yeah Probably like either bi like biology, biotechnology, pre-medical, medicine, that type of like science, chemistry, that type of wavelength. Hi, my name is Ruth Pierreless and I'm in the 12th grade. 
Um, the reason why I love this program so much is because for me, I know that when I get out of high school, I want to be a nurse. So I'm just in this program to better help myself and to like better um, shape my path into like being a nurse. I feel like why just do it in college when I can start as early as high school? I feel like this is a very good program for anybody that want to do healthcare in the future. If you want to be a nurse, a doctor, I feel like this is a program for you. And I just like really like it a lot. And it's very hands-on and we do a lot of um, technical stuff. We have a lot of um, equipment, machinery, we have mannequins, we have beds, we have just a lot that you can really use to learn and it's just really good. Oh, college for me, I'm, I'm mostly applying, I mostly think about applying to in-state colleges, but for right now, I'm looking at Florida State University. So uh, yeah, that's the college that I wanna go to. How you doing? My name is Kelvin McNabb. I'm the Assistant Fire Marshal with the City of Pompano Beach Fire Department. Uh, I think the most exciting thing about my job, being in fire prevention, um, is that we get to do public education. Sim something similar to today's presentation, where we get to speak to the community, students, um, key stakeholders on how to remain safe um, and keep the community safe. So I think the public education aspect is the most rewarding part because we talk about things that at, for little kids all the way up to adults that impact the community. So I think the public education aspect is the best. I, I think what makes the most excited about it is not only their curiosity as far as fires, how they start, how to prevent them, but I think it's something that they can take home and share with their loved ones. I think you should be excited about protecting other ones and, and, and also yourself. So I think that that that's what excites them about it. My favorite hobby now is um, I like looking at movies. I like looking at movies. Uh, for some reason, sci-fi is big with me. Um, so I like being home, watching some movies, Netflixing, and, and Prime Video in. I'm big on Star Wars. I like the Star Wars trilogies and, and all of those. Pino Beach Fire uh, Rescue is partnering with Ely High School. Um, and we're going to be opening up a fire academy um, in fall of 2023. So it's going to be an easy gateway and path for students at Blanche Lee and to be honest with you, Pompano High, any other community that wants to be involved to come to the fire academy and get a, 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 and learn what it is that we do, um, EMT 1, 2, and actually the fire academy. So it's going to be a, a nice gateway and pathway to get students and the community involved so that they can protect the community that they actually live and serve. So that's a big deal for us and we're very excited to be partnering with the school board and everyone to make that happen.